Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Taylor, and I am the Advocate of the Devil. The Final Fantasy series is one that could be listed in my top 5 of all time. Hell, if it wasn't for Drakengard, Silent Hill, and Pokemon, it'd probably be numero uno. Every game is played differently, has different characters and storylines, hell, they don't even keep the same battle system most of the time. And the fan base! It rivals the Legend of Zelda in terms of how angry and ridiculous it can get. We are several years removed from it, but Final Fantasy XIII and its sequels are probably the most looked down on. No towns, no comprehensible names, a storyline that's confusing to even those who have paid complete and total attention to every single minor detail. Of all the mainline Final Fantasies in the series, this one, this trilogy of RPGs were by far the absolute worst. But here's the thing. I've been defending these ones for years now, and now I get to do it for the entire planet to see. Today, I'm defending the Final Fantasy XIII Trilogy. What is the shortest distance between two points? Well, that's obvious, a straight line. It's simple mathematics, A to B. When people got their hands on Final Fantasy XIII for the very first time, a straight line was practically all they saw. There was no branching paths, complete, total, and utter linearity. For a lot of people, this was actually the biggest problem with the game, since the map dictated that you could only go in one set predetermined path. There was zero exploration until the last third or so of the game, especially when compared to other games in the Final Fantasy series which is where I have to do what I enjoy most in life and prove you guys wrong. How do you know this? That's what I do. I drink and I know things. Because this is, in fact, not the first time that this series has gone this linear. The real truth of the matter is, they've all been. Don't believe me? Try playing any of the older Final Fantasy titles, or hell, any RPG for that matter. At some point in trying to explore the world and heading off the beaten path, You'll get stuck, shut out, be forced to go to the town or dungeon that leads to the next bit of storyline. Role-playing games are a lot like books. When you're reading, if you try and skip ahead, you'll be lost in what's going on. You'll have no context for what the characters are talking about, or what got them to be in the situations that they're in. Final Fantasy XIII also has a strict, set story that it wants to tell. And by going down a straight path, it merely eliminates all the extra fluff and potential confusion before getting to the next story point. And while whether or not that story was good, there is no denying just how truly beautiful this game was. Were I unwed, I would take you in a manly fashion. Because I'm pretty? Because you're pretty. As technology moves forward, evolves, and changes, so too does the power of all that technology. The graphical output expands exponentially, and the entire Final Fantasy series has been known to push the limits of what a console can do, both from an audio and visual standpoint. Way back in the SNES era with my own personal favorite, number six, featuring a stunning soundtrack and possibly the best looking 2D sprites in the series' history. The PS1 era had seven stunning cutscenes, eight realistic proportion character models, Nobuo Uematsu's genius scoring, Final Fantasy games have been, for decades, pushing forward more and more into some of the most impressive looking eye candy of any game of any series. And 13 is no exception. In fact, while a good story and character development is a matter of taste, an enjoyable game experience is subjective. The production value within the 13 trilogy is amongst the highest of any game from last generation. Gamers all around the world are pushing to change the perception of games as art. Free your mind. Instead of just a meaningless waste of time. The closest, in my opinion, to any other existing art form would be movies. I only say this since nowadays, even if you don't play games yourself, you can still enjoy watching someone else play them instead. To me, each genre of game has its own sub-themes, in much the same way that films have deep, poignant movies independent flicks, dumb summer action blockbusters, and the like. Final Fantasy at one point could probably be compared to independent or Oscar bait style, with an emphasis on telling a deep, somewhat convoluted story designed to pull at your heartstrings. 
Nowadays, we have the Shin Megami Tensei games for the difficulty, Pokemon for the kids' movies, and with the higher focus on graphics over gameplay, Final Fantasy could be dubbed as Summer Blockbuster. And the one thing that most, if not all, blockbuster franchises has is a metric ton of sequels. That's right, the final bullet in the chamber against Unlucky Number 13 is the fact that Square Enix didn't just focus on one title. No, they had to turn out three of them, all in an attempt to clarify the seemingly nonsensical happenings in the world of Cocoon. Or is it Grand Pulse? Now for a story to work well, it needs to stand up on its own, as one single entity. After all, that's what all the other, I mean, no other Final Fantasy had, Oh, no, not even the most popular... Crap. Well, hey, would you look at that! Final Fantasy XIII wasn't even the first Final Fantasy to sequelize itself. To me, this just goes back to the subjective nature of games. I could play one a certain way, but you guys might play it another. It's the same with whether or not a game is good. Do you know how many games I play that most people frown on? Lots. Innumerable. Well, excuse me, princess. But then there's the statement of maybe it is just too much. Maybe they should have focused more on making one extraordinarily well-made game as opposed to three separate not-so-great games. This is where the issue of artistic integrity and freedom comes into play. Any artist will tell you that whatever they do, they do it for themselves. Everything I do. It's something that is inside him or herself that they need to unleash upon the earth. And it doesn't matter if you're a musician, a painter, a writer, a movie maker. Something drives you to move forward and in your own way, accomplish whatever it is you set out to make. In the case of others, it could be in releasing dozens of books starring that same main character in that same world, but being thrust into different situations. In the case of TV shows like, say, Supernatural, it could be that you have a specific story to tell that gets done in a few seasons, but you then have other ideas of different scenarios for your main characters to go through. You aren't necessarily done telling stories with those characters, so you continue to do so until there's nothing left to say, or unless the network cancels your show. And it's the same with Final Fantasy XIII. It's not the first game to get sequels, it definitely won't be the last. Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, I do hope I manage to shed some light into just how unfairly a lot of people have treated Final Fantasy XIII. Whether it be the linearity, which most games must adhere to, or the sheer number of titles in the series in question, Final Fantasy XIII has merely done what Marvel has done, play to the strengths and tropes of its predecessors. And while we can spend the next 5,000 years arguing whether or not the game is actually worth playing, there's no denying how much time was spent on making this the prettiest of all the Final Fantasies at the ball. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a new piece of my mind every Wednesday. And in the description is a link to our Twitch channel. We stream whenever we can, and after this, I'm gonna wanna play some of my unbeaten Final Fantasy games. And most importantly, let us know in the comments below what your verdict is. Am I just living in a fantasy land where only my opinions matter? By all means, let your views clash with my own so that I may proceed to prove you wrong. Kaboom, you've been lawyered. But for now, in the case of Final Fantasy 13, the defense rests. I did my best, I did my best, I did my best. I did my fucking best!